Kanechi is just uh, uh, like a dessert, a sweet drink that has rice in it or you can put harmonies in it. You can either drink it or eat it with a spoon, you know, with the rice in it. You can do it either way. But I don't know, it's been around for years, as long as I can remember. The taste is hard to describe. It's a nutty, you know, it's a kind of nutty taste and you know how uh, hickory nuts are and pecans. You have to gather hickory nuts and um, then you clean them and then you crack them as small as you can and then you have to sift all the shells out and then you have to pound it till it gets like greasy to make a ball. Once I, uh, the ball is made, I boil water, cook my rice and I'll boil the water and when the rice is ready, I'll smash the ball back up and pour my hot water in there and then strain it into a pan and you keep going till all the meat's gone from there and then you put rice in it that's all you use is the soup of the ball you don't use any of the meat you have to add sugar i add a little to mine and if they want more they can add their own you know He handed over his uh, rocks that he cracks them with and his um, stick, I guess, whatever you mash it with. And I have their old basket that they sift it with. I think it is really important for the younger kids to know, you know, since it's like an old Indian drink. I mean, that's how I look at it, like it's, it was started from somebody way back, probably. Sometimes I wished I had asked questions, but I never did, you know. I think it's important to pass it on to one of your kids if they want to learn it. If not, then pass it on to one of your family that will do it.